How you doing? This is uh, Trevor the Chicken Plan from uh, Homestead in the Hallway. And today I wanted to show you how to do a automatic chicken order. And this right here is one of my chicken nipples that I use for this order. And you can get them pretty cheap, about six or seven dollars for a pack of five. This right here is a horizontal nipple. So that means it goes on horizontally. But this right here is my barrel that I have with my little stand that I made. And um, this right here is a bulkhead fitting and I put the spigot in there and I just have a splitter right here. And then all you'll need is, uh, all you need is pretty much the barrel, the fitting right here and the spigot. And then you need a little bit of hose right here. I just used some old uh, water hose that I had. And then, come in here, I'll show you. <clears throat> But right here, I have a piece of pipe, and it just depends on how many nipples you want. They say a nipple is good for about four chickens. So I have four in here, so that's good for about 16 chickens. But um, this right here, I put a coupling right here and screwed this in. It's got a nipple on it. And all I did was put the water hose on here and um, put the clamp on. And then down here, I just have a cap. And then here's the... Uh, Here's the main thing right here. The nipples that you buy, most time it'll tell you what size hole to drill. And the one that I just had, it was a 3 8 hole. But you just drill the hole. It's pretty simple, just drill the hole, space them apart, and then uh, screw your nipples in there and make sure you don't over tighten. But that's how it works. See the water comes out. And pretty much, it's, it's simple for the chickens to learn. It probably, it didn't take them maybe a day to figure it out. But you have to take the water out of there. So the other water source that you're using, you have to take it out and then they'll catch on to this. And I just peck it a few times and show them, you know what I mean? And they'll, they catch on to it fast. And... So I split it off right here, and you can buy these um, male ends right here, or the female end, and um, you just put it on there and screw it on. And then it's the same thing right here, but I put a, I put a 45 inch, uh, 45 degree couple on, coupling on there with the same nipple, and I put the horizontal nipples on there, and there ain't but two birds in there, so, but you see it's pretty simple. And I just zip tied it to the fence. Now I, look, I like the horizontal ones better because you can uh, zip tie it to the fence and you don't have to worry about them getting to it because the, the other ones are um, vertical nipples. So they have to be pointing down so they won't leak. Because it has a little rubber, it has a little rubber washer around it or an O-ring. That's what keeps it from leaking. And sometimes we get trash in there, you just have to clean it out a little bit and most time it'll stop leaking. And that's about it. And make sure you have that. That one's about maybe two foot off the ground. Make sure you have it up enough so have a little bit of pressure on the line. Gravity feed. Oh yeah. And that's it, that barrel right there. That barrel, I filled it up probably, I don't know, one time since I've had it, I've had it a month. And it ain't, it ain't nothing. I haven't used much of it at all. And I put a little bit of a, I put about a cup full of bleach in there. Make sure it don't get any algae in there and stuff, so. But that's about it. And if you have any questions, leave a question in the comment below. And don't like, don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Trevor from Homestead and Hallway. Y'all have a good one.